<laughs> so the, the question that I want to ask, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree, that when you're fighting every day to win stuff or to be a better version of yourself or to compete, how do you keep yourself calm? See, this is the whole thing. Uh, we think uh, it's been taught in the world that if you want to be successful, you got to do this. Uh, not necessary, because in anything it is true, in every aspect of life it's true, but let's talk football. Even in football, well, there are some players who play very aggressively, they are not necessarily the greatest players. Essentially, you don't have to fight with anybody, you just have to kick the ball in the goal. Something well, I'm not trying to make it simplistic. Of course, there are other people playing, but we are supposed to play with them. We are supposed to outplay them, not fight them. Fight them means we have to go against them. To play means to miss them <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Essentially, you have to miss those guys and get to the goal, not fight with them. If you have the intent of fighting, fighting with them, obviously, you will go ahead on. I must tell you this, I was… Uh, this was uh, probably early 2000, maybe 2003 or 4. We had worked with the previous uh, earlier team and Pargat Singh was uh, heading the, uh, the hockey team. But later on, all of them had retired and uh, Dilip Turki was heading the team. He's from your region, yeah. right? So, I was just passing through Chennai airport and uh, this uh, secretary of the Indian Hockey Federation came up to me and said, Sadhguru, our boys, they're all going to Champions Trophy to Germany. This is the first time they're even going out of the country, many of them. Please come and say something. So I walked down and uh, they had some kind of a uh, psychologist who was trying to pep them up. He was uh, telling them, Aapka ma baap ka ijat hai isme, desh ka ijat hai <laughs> One billion people, one billion people are waiting for you to bring champion's trophy, you cannot fail them. These are all eighteen, nineteen-year-old boys. <laughs> They're like one billion people and <laughs> ma baap ka ijat <laughs> Then I looked at this, these guys are just terrified <laughs> So I, I… when my turn came, I went up and asked, I said, you guys know, you, you guys like to play hockey? He said, yeah. I said, you know hockey or you just like… No, no, we know how to play. So I said, the moment you get on the airplane, forget goddamn India and your parents and everybody else nonsense. All you have to do is, you must have lust to put the ball in the goal. You don't even count, somebody else will count <laughs> Your business is to constantly see the ball is in the goal, in the opposite goal, of course <laughs> And uh, no, but uh, they have to beat Pakistan. I said, you don't have to beat Pakistan, you just have to hit the ball. Huh? Why do you want to beat Pakistan with a hockey stick? <laughs> you just have to hit the ball. But these kind of things have been built up that we are fighting somebody. You don't have to fight anybody. People are always thinking, fighting spirit, killing instinct, all this not needed. If… if we train people from an early age that they have to be just smooth as silk, nobody should be able… even able to come near you. The greatest players were like that, they were just running away with the ball, all others running all over, not knowing where they're going. So, essentially you don't have to fight anybody, you just have to get the ball where you have to. For this you don't need fighting spirit, killer instinct, any of these things. All you need is work on the skill, work on the skill, work on the skill, which doesn't come because you wish. <laughs> skill won't come because you desire. Victory will not come because you desire, every fool wants to win, but only those who have the competence will win in the end <laughs> That really makes sense. In fact, India is playing Pakistan today, sir <laughs> uh, And you won't believe in the morning, uh, 